This is not a pretty process, but looks so good once you're done. Hello everyone and welcome. So I'm really sorry if there's um, like an echo or anything. Obviously I'm not in my usual filming spot. I am in my bathroom. Um, so I have you guys set up here because I thought it would be fun for me to show you guys how I've been kind of using um, Velcro rollers to get that like big bouncy like at home blowout or people are calling it like the 90s blowout hair. I have everything laid out here. I'm going to do my best to explain it. Full disclosure, I'm not a hair person, but that's okay. We're going to do the best we can um, and I'm just going to show you guys how I do it. I don't know if this is right. I don't know if this is wrong. I really don't know what I'm doing. This is just what I've been kind of playing around with and what kind of works for me. My hair is just freshly washed. It was hair wash day. Um, I typically only wash my hair once a week, every seven days, every like every between like every five to seven days, I would say. Um, a, because I have very, very naturally oily, disgusting hair. My hair gets greasy after like two days. It's a nightmare. And also I do um, have the like beaded weft extensions. I don't know if you can even see that um, right here. I have two rows, um, so I have a lot of hair. It takes kind of a while to dry and style and all that stuff. So I typically am not going anywhere fun during the week. Um, I will usually do this on like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, kind of to get me through the weekend. And this will kind of be my first day hairstyle. And then I will kind of use the leftovers the next day add a little dry shampoo for some more volume and for that clean, fresh feeling. And then like throw in a few curls or wear it straight, wear it up. Um, so yeah, this is kind of how I start my week with my hair. So before we get started, I kind of just want to run you through the products I'm going to be using. So the first thing that I used in the shower was this R & Co Dallas Biotin Thickening Shampoo. Um, so I really like this. It's supposed to add some like beautiful bouncy hair apparently. Um, it smells really good. Um, it, I have really fine hair so I need help in the volume department for sure. That's why I love this hairstyle so much. Um, so yeah, I just use this as kind of like a volumizing shampoo. I do not use this every single time I wash my hair, but I did go ahead and use it today. Since I only wash my hair once a week, I do a deep conditioning mask every single time I wash my hair. I would do that weekly anyways. Um, so I've been really liking the Olaplex number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. This is a newer product. It's kind of expensive for the little amount that you get. I do really, really like it. I think it smells nice, it works really well. I love Olaplex, but I need kind of a lot because I do have a lot of hair, so I don't know, it's kind of up to you. And then after I got out of the shower, my favorite is this like microfiber towel. You guys, it is 2021. Stop wrapping your wet hair in a terry cloth towel. It's literally the worst thing you can do. It rips out your hair, it breaks, causes split ends even faster, and it just makes it such a frizzy, frizzy mess. So when I got out of the shower, I'll kind of just wrap it up and hang out, put lotion on my body, all that kind of stuff, do my skincare, and then I will take my hair down and throw in a little bit of this Verb Ghost Oil. I love this. It makes your hair super shiny, super soft, and it's so weightless. Like I said, I have pretty thin, fine hair, and it's naturally like pretty straight for the most part. Um, so I can't use a ton of like very, very heavy products or else it just gets really limp. I don't get that volume and then it gets greasy even faster. Um, so yeah, I really love this verb oil just for the ends. I usually go from like neck down. Um, and I use like three pumps of this. For the rest of these products, I have like two options because I'm such a product junkie. So I really like this Mizani 25 Miracle Milk. I got this from Sephora. Um, it's like, it's a 10. If, I mean, that's a really popular one. It's like the exact same thing. It detangles, nourishes, hydrates, a little bit of heat protectant. Like it does 25 things essentially. Um, so sometimes I'll just spray that in as a leave-in treatment, but today I actually used Beach Club by IGK. And this is actually a blowout cream, and this has 450 degree heat protection. Kind of along the same lines, but I use one of these two products in addition to kind of the leave-in treatment. 
Um, I'm gonna be using this today. This is the Southern Belle by Drybar. It's volume boosting mousse. And I kind of focus this all throughout my hair. I use a pretty generous amount. This is a super, super lightweight foam. It doesn't make your hair crunchy. It doesn't, like, when you hear mousse, I think of, like, early 2000s, like, scrunching, like, crunchy. <laughs> this does not do this. Um, it builds body and kind of, like, has memory, which sounds ridiculous. It has style memory. <laughs> um, but I think it just holds a little bit better. Um, and like I said, this is super weightless, so you can build it up as much as you want. And then, um, this is also R & Co Dallas, but this is the thickening spray. I do like this. You can use this in your roots as well, but I find this is definitely a little bit heavier and I find this has a little bit more holding power. Um, so if I'm going for more of like a curly blowout style, I'll use this. But if I want kind of more straight, soft, like really fluffy, I can run my fingers through it, kind of that style, then I'll use this, which is what I'm going for today. So I'm going to use the dry bar stuff. And then the last two products I want to mention are kind of like root volume things. Um, so I have what I'm going to be using today, the IGK Next Level Nordic Cotton Heat Activated Volume Spray. So you basically just spritz this in to your roots and then blow dry your style in. It gives you a really awesome volume. Love this. This has pretty, like this is, this, this is no joke. Um, it's, it's definitely for fine hair. Um, and I like this because again, it gives that kind of touchable. Um, I have used this without blow drying it in and it made my hair kind of greasy and a little bit crunchy. So definitely use this with heat. It's not like a put it in and air dry your hair kind of situation. And then the last thing is this Mondo Electrified Volumizing Foam. So this is Brad Mondo's brand. This is a really buildable product. Again, I like to use this with heat. I didn't blow dry this into my hair one time and it made it kind of greasy. I had to re-wet my hair and then I blew it out and it just, it was fine. Uh, but I definitely don't like just letting this sit in my hair. But again, this is a really great product because you can use it all throughout your hair or just in your roots. My hair is about 80% dry. Um, you don't want your hair to be stopping wet for this. I'm gonna take probably that much. Um, so I use a pretty generous amount and then I'm just going to focus this like my mid lengths and then whatever is left over my hands I kind of just work through if my hair is not dry enough I'll just go in with my Dyson and kind of shoot it really quick and I will dry my hair upside down which actually gives me a little bit more volume um I think I'm pretty good so I don't think we need this have my tool plugged in um so this is just the dry bar I think this is the double shot or the single shot oh shit I don't even know um, whatever. I'll link it down below. Um, it's the dry bar brush. It is a little bit pricey. I think this was like 150 from Ulta. Um, everybody loves the Revlon brush, but that just killed my hair. So I definitely like this one a lot better. I've used it a few times now. I prefer this one has a round base as opposed to the Revlon one, which is kind of more of an oval shape and it's a lot, lot bigger. So this I can kind of really get in there closer to my roots and I can kind of give myself a little bit of a curl. So I'm just going to brush that product through my hair. And the brush that I'm using is a wet brush. Um, these are my favorite. I'm wearing a tank top underneath. No nip slips here. For the bottom layer, I use four rollers typically. Um, I do my hair in smaller sections. You don't have to if you don't have the time or whatever, but I like to do my hair in smaller sections. So I'll use four, two on this side and then two on this side. These are just basic Velcro rollers. I use two sizes. I got these off Amazon. I want to say these are two and then these are an inch and a quarter. Um, so yeah, I just got these off Amazon and then I use little alligator clips like that to secure them. I can link everything down below. Now what I'm gonna do is take this um, Next Level from IGK and I'm just gonna spray this into my roots. I like to do my root spray in sections so that way I can make sure it really like gets in there. Um, I find that sometimes 
if I do my root spray, it like just sits in one spot. So what I'm gonna do is basically just blow dry back and forth like this. And then what I'm gonna do is bring it to the front and then start to like twist and pull like that. Kind of like when you give yourself just like a regular blowout. And then at the very end, you'll probably see me go all the way to the end, roll it all the way up. I'll let it sit there for like five seconds and then I'll pull it out like this. And then I will go ahead and roll the hair up. And you wanna roll in the direction that you're blowing it out. So you're going with the curl pattern, essentially. perfect just needs to sit there long enough so that way it cools in that form all right so this is what we're working with so far like I said it does not need to be pretty I have these little baby pieces that are my actual hair um, that don't always you know go where they're supposed to so I kind of just let them hang out like it's fine it's not that big of a deal so now I'm going to move on to the middle third of my hair um and this is usually the biggest section of hair so I'll just kind of part it here um by my temple and then just use my finger to go all the way back and then I will only do half of it at a time because like I said this section is a lot bigger um, so I will just kind of clip the rest of this when I get to this piece I actually will blow it up like this and then put the roller so that it's pulling away from my face rather than up and down So this is what we're working with so far definitely not perfect but that's okay this is actually one of my sloppier ones usually I'm a little bit neater than this so now what we're kind of left with is just this like top mohawk section um, so what I like to do is work from the back forward and I like to blow dry everything forward to give me the most volume so what I will do is kind of just section this back crown piece and do this first. Um, so now I'm pretty much just left with my uh, curtain bang situation. Um, so what I'm going to do again, just spray and give them a healthy spritz. Um, and basically what I like to do for my bangs is I will roll under like this and then I will roll over like that to style them and then roll them with a big one. I definitely like to use the bigger one because I think that gives me the most volume and the most like swoop. I don't want them to be like curly. So more volume, bigger rolls. And also I just wanted to say the reason why I let it sit here rolled up for a second is so that way that heat spray look at that <laughs> is really activated and you give it a second to kind of turn into that like scaffolding almost that you need for your hair um give it a second to kind of retain that structure um so my bangs i actually wrap pretty tight um and try and get them as smooth as possible my bangs are kind of the one roller that i like really focus on to make sure it's like almost perfect and then what I like to do is I'll typically add a clip right here just to make sure that everything stays locked in because I have a lot of baby hairs. Let these sit for honestly however long you want, anywhere between like five minutes. To, I've left them in for like two hours one time. Um, so it's really up to you how much time you have. Before I go anywhere, I kind of just double check to make sure everything's secure, everything's feeling good. What you can do if your hair doesn't hold curl really well, which mine does not, my hair again is just kind of a pain in the ass and especially after I wash it so fine, it gets really soft and it just 
everything falls out. So I like to take a finishing spray, not necessarily like a hairspray hairspray. I mean, you can use a hairspray, but I like it to be more of this kind of like touchable, soft, just very, very little hold. Um, this is the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. Um, it's weightless, no sticky residue, anything like that. Um, that's what it looks like. And I'll just kind of, not to mention this stuff smells amazing. And I'll kind of just let everything sit like that, go about the rest of my day, do what I need to, and then come back and take them out. So it's time to take these bad boys out. So I'm literally just gonna start unclipping. And I just pull it through. Look at that. Oh yes. And if it's a little bit kinked, it's not a big deal. It'll fall. And then the last one, the bangs. Ooh. I had to pull the rollers out to get my shirt on. I'm excited. It's actually looking kind of cute. 